South Africa's Limpopo Health member of the Executive Council, MEC, Popi Ramathuba, has sparked a storm of controversy after the emergence of a video showing her telling a woman that migrants from Zimbabwe were a huge strain on the provincial healthcare system. But despite concerns about the Max remarks on her seemingly inflammatory comments about Zimbabweans, the government says it is not a diplomatic incident just yet. The woman uh, Ramathuba is addressing in the video is believed to be a Zimbabwean. Ramathuba tells her that Zimbabweans using South African healthcare services place a huge strain on the provincial health department. Economic freedom fighters, EFF, have condemned her action calling for her removal. From my reading of it is that we really need to question what the role of the MEC is um, and her responsibility in the ways in which she engages with any patient in any facility that she's responsible for. We also need to acknowledge that the ways in which some of that, some of the ways in which the MEC communicated with the patient um, is not the way to treat any patient at any time in a facility. Um, I think that at no point um, was there a suggestion that the, the particular patient was questioning or challenging the ways in which the South African public health care system works. For example, we know that there are co-payments and that there's a fee schedule and a means test um, that's, that's in place. The issue of migration and, and the influx of uh, Zimbabwean migrants to South Africa is, is something that can only be addressed at political level. And for us, when we look at an MEC who is a, a political appointee in the department, uh, speaking to a patient who actually has nothing they can really do to address um, Nangagwa, uh, as she put it, uh, it's a responsibility for the Zimbabwean government really to take care of its own people. I think it's time to pack and go home because you cannot go in any public institution where you are going to be to, 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 to have to reveal your identity and then have to be humiliated. So it's it's, it's sad to see such such kind of 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 of, of of thing happening to a vulnerable person like, like like that woman who could not even, I mean, you you see the you saw the video. She couldn't even defend herself. One of the challenges we see in terms of the mismanagement of the healthcare system is that there is a lack of oversight. There is a lack of support. There's a lack of um, evaluation of the ways in which frontline healthcare workers are providing. Joining me on the news to unpack this latest uh, development is uh, Lillian Managash, is a provincial legislature serving in the Portfolio Committee of Health in Limpopo for the Economic Freedom Fighters. Uh, Lillian, good to see you. As a South African, tell us, if you will, what is the event of today between Limpopo Health and member of the Executive Council uh, Ramathuba and the Zimbabwean patient mean in today's South Africa? Uh, you have to unmute uh, your microphone, please. Thank you. Good evening to you and to the listeners. I'm not going to talk as a South African, but I'll talk as an African. Uh, what happened this uh, morning, we have seen a video where the MEC was talking to lady who is coming from Zimbabwe. The patient is uh, waiting operation at Villa Villa Hospital. The video went viral and uh, majority of people like myself and the economic freedom fighters, we are condemning what we have seen. The MEC of Health, Dr. Popira Matuba, has undoubtedly launched a sketching attack on foreign nationals because we had her talking to that woman who is coming from Zimbabwe, our very own sister. She said to the poor woman, why is 
she there at Villa Villa Hospital because she's a non-South African and she's burdening the healthcare system in Limpopo. And, and, you know, the, the health mech, Ramathuba said, Limpopo was struggling to clear its surgical backlog because of an influx of foreign nationals, as uh, she had uh, described the lady, uh, and uh, that they were burdening the healthcare system. Considering that, and uh, quite uh, notably, you've said you, you speak as an African and not a South African. Tell us the importance of Africans speaking as Africans uh, and staying away from the nationalities question. Thank you so much uh, for bringing that in the debate. I'm an African and as African child and as an economic freedom fighter member, we, con we, con we condemn Afrophobia. We believe that uh, Africa should be borderless continents. We believe in United States of Africa as Africans. And uh, the issue of passport in Africa, we, we feel is not fair to Africans. We have, or we need to have freedom of movement in our own African continent. So there should be no Zimbabwean, there should be no Mozambican. We are all Africans and we belong to Africa and we deserve to be treated the same as Africans in our own African continent. That's our stance. And we're not going to back down. We are saying we are Africans, all of us belong to Africa and we should be treated the same and we should treat one another as brothers and sisters. You know, quite an interesting perspective there because there have been calls for a probe into today's incident and your political party, the Economic Freedom Fighters, uh, has also called for her removal uh, in her action. Uh, you know, is that enough? And how do you hope, rather, how do you hope to achieve that? Oh, uh, yes, we we calling on her removal as soon as possible. Our country cannot be led at any level, at any point, by anyone who will not respect the dignity of any African person. So we feel, as the economic freedom fighter, this is our view. The MEC is a direct danger to the community. It's a direct danger to our humanity as people. And the basic requirements of a conduct of health professional should be like the one that the MEC has displayed today. People go to the hospital in order to seek help. They are not going there so that they should be humiliated. They are going there so that they could prolong their lifespan by the services that they will get from our healthcare professionals. So if our healthcare professionals are treating our own people the way we saw the MEC treating such, that, that women at the hospital, uh, it means we don't have Ubuntu as Africans anymore. So we, we say she must be removed. Lillian. Of course, there are many rules that we have to follow. We're going to follow proper channels. If it would mean that we go the legal route, we're going to go the legal route. We're going to report the matter to the Human Rights Commission because what she did is an outright human rights violation. To, uh, well, to our I, I think I'm afraid it, uh, we, we're out of time. I'd like to thank you for your time, Lilian Managa, a member of the EFF and uh, a Pan-Africanist. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm a Pan-Africanist indeed. Thank you.